when we die, our soul and our body separate. Our body goes back to the earth, to the land, and our soul continues on. And we get help at a soul level in that journey from a number of different places. One of those places is from a set of spirit beings, the angels of death, you could call them, that guide us and support us through that process. One of the words for these spirit beings is psychopomp beings. Psyche is soul, pomp is guide. So these psychopomp beings guide us. And before we die, they gather. If it's a sudden death, they're here, although we might not know it. If it's an expected death, they're gathering. And I work with my clients a lot in this way to help them meet their psychopomp being, to help them come into relationship. And usually it's there, it's in the edges of their imagination, it's showing up in their dream life. They just didn't recognize it. They didn't know who this was. It might be an animal, it might be a spiritual figure, it might be an ancestor, it could be all sorts of different things. But when they start to recognize who it is and recognize that it's there, then we can do lots of interesting ritual work to deepen that relationship so they get familiar. So they're making that relationship before they die so that when they die, they know who's there and they know who's gonna meet them. And in other traditions and other cultures, unlike dominant Western culture where we've lost this, those would be known. We would know in our culture who was coming to help our dead across. But we don't know that, but we can relearn it. And it's incredible the impact it has, and in particular the dream visitations that come when people start to really welcome and receive and engage with the psychopomp being who will support them across the veil.